Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Smith. I'm your art teacher. Today for Black History Month, we are learning about Horace Pippin, born in Pennsylvania in 1888, and he passed away in 1946. Here is a picture of him sitting, painting his self-portrait. The self-portrait is when you paint a picture of yourself. And then this is a photograph that someone else took of Horace Pippin. So this is a portrait when someone else takes your picture and a self-portrait when you take a picture of yourself or paint a picture. We are going to learn um, why Horace Pippin created art with the unusual art supplies. Uh, our essential question, where do artists get their ideas? And can you name the different types of lines? Here are the standards of excellence. If you want to go back and read those yourself, when you pause the video. And the vocabulary, the elements of art are the ones we're focusing on our line, color, and texture. We're going to learn about the word vertical, horizontal, diagonal for my third, fourth, and fifth graders, and pattern, creativity, and composition for everybody. Horace won a box of crayons in a drawing contest when he was 10 years old. He loved to do art. He used old doilies to paint on and decorate when he was a little boy because he didn't have paper. His family was poor and they couldn't afford supplies. And that's why winning that box of crayons was so special to him. When he was older, he would draw on wood with a hot poker. He would set a hot poker in fire and draw on wood with it. So he would create art without normal art supplies because he didn't have them. But he had so much creativity and so many art ideas in his head that he was creative enough to find a way to, to make art without pencil or paper. When he got older, he was able to afford art supplies. Sometimes he painted about his memories of the horrors of war. He was injured. He injured his fighting, his arm, fighting in World War I. Later in life, he would have to hold his right arm with his left arm so that he could paint. So here's a painting of uh, one of his memories of fighting in the war. And then here's a photograph of him holding his right hand with his left hand because he injured his arm in the war. And then that's his wife, Jenny. So, here are some more paintings by Horace Pippin. He painted pictures from everyday life. He would often paint indoor scenes. An indoor scene is a picture of something going on inside of a building. So we see here people doing everyday normal activities. Back then they did not have electricity. We see clues where there's no electricity. You see oil lamps that people used for light. People would play games in the evenings instead of watch TV because they didn't have televisions and electricity in those days. But some things are different, but some things are the same. Our mothers or grandmothers still cook us breakfast. People still need to clean house and tend the fire and do the chores. Horace Pippin also painted outdoor scenes. So outdoor scenes are pictures of things happening outside. And here I want to introduce to you some, some vocabulary words. Horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are lines that go side to side. So we see the boards on the house are lines that go side to side. The uh, boards on the bench are going side to side. So lines that go side to side are horizontal. Vertical lines are lines that go up and down. This is a vertical line. These trees are vertical lines. This, this, the slats on the fence are, you can see the vertical lines between each board. So vertical lines are lines that go up and down. Horizontal lines that go side to side. And there's one more line called diagonal. A diagonal line is slanted. Here's a diagonal line. It's slanted. And here's another one, the edge of this church steeple. It's a slanted line. I also want you to think about patterns as well. Look at the patterns on these rugs. Patterns 
are things that repeat, like colors or shapes or numbers in math. So we have these lovely patterns on the rug. We have, she has a pattern on her uh, head covering. Even the cracks in the wall have these horizontal line patterns. The window, here's horizontal lines here, vertical lines here. The stovepipe is a vertical line. So we have lots of lines going on. And also, can you find a diagonal? Diagonal line would be the leg of the chair slant ways or the piece of this um, table going slant ways. So diagonal lines are a little bit harder to find, but you can find them if you look hard enough. And let's see here. One more picture of Horace's to show you. He just was a wonderful painter. He loved to use his shapes and lines and patterns and textures. And once again, here's the diagonal. The edge of the tree would be diagonal. And then of course your horizontal and excuse me, horizontal, vertical. What are we going to make today? So today we're going to make a drawing. I'm gonna let you draw, draw a picture of, well, you'll be like Horace Pippin today. You will create a picture of yourself or another person doing something, doing an ordinary everyday activity. You can use normal or unusual art supplies like Horace. Here are some examples that I drew. And remember, use different lines, add textures, and patterns. And remember to post your work to Seesaw. So just draw a simple picture of something that you do every day or almost every day. I brush my teeth twice a day, so I, I drew a picture of myself brushing my teeth. Sometimes I'll have breakfast or at lunch at a restaurant and I sit at the counter. Notice the pattern on my shirt. Notice the horizontal lines. Notice the diagonal lines, the vertical lines, textures and patterns, textures of the grass. So boys and girls, I want you to draw something that you do every day. Add different lines, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and use patterns and textures. I look forward to seeing your artwork on Seesaw. Have a good day. And remember, you can always contact me through email, Class Dojo, Seesaw or teams. Have a good one. Bye-bye.